Late on January 15th, pro-government forces, led by the 25th Special Mission Forces Division, resumed their offensive operations in Greater Idlib. Since then, they have taken control of several villages, including Barsa, Nuhia, Taukatra and Kirbat Dawood, west of the Al Duhur airbase. The airbase, liberated in January 2018, became a useful foothold for army units operating in the area. On January 16th, Hayat Amir al-Sham launched a counter-offensive, recapturing Abu Jurf. However, it was not able to deliver any notable blows to the advancing government troops. The ground operation followed resumption of airstrikes on weapon depots and fortified positions of Hayat Amir al-Sham, formerly the Syrian branch of Al-Qaeda, and other radical groups. On January 15th, the Syrian Air Force bombed the industrial zone and the El Hal area of Idlib city, destroying multiple vehicles and several buildings. Airstrikes were also reported near Marat al Numan, Ma'ashurin, Tel Kersian, and other areas along the M5 highway. Over 20 airstrikes hit targets southwest of Aleppo city that recently became the target of regular shelling from Turkish backed militant groups. The especially intense shelling took place on January 16th, with more than two dozens of rockets pounding the city. Pro-government sources speculate that southwestern Aleppo will become the target of the large-scale army offensive. Meanwhile, the army is obliterating salient militant positions on the front line east of the M5 highway. This is needed to ease future military efforts to retake the highway from the radicals and liberate Marat al-Numan, Kanasabol and Sarakib. The developments of the last few years demonstrated that despite any ceasefire and de-escalation agreements, the highway will remain closed as long as militants control these three towns. Turkey and Russia also seem to be preparing for a new round of violence in Greater Idlib. Turkish minister Hulusi Akar said on January 15 that Ankara and Moscow were in talks to establish a security zone to allow civilians to take shelter during the winter. He claimed that the reason is that civilians do not want to go to government-controlled areas. Pro-Damascus sources say that Al-Qaeda-linked militants just sabotage the exits of civilians via humanitarian corridors just under the nose of the Turkish observation points. On January 15th, ISIS cells ambushed a group of Republican Guard troops in southern Deir ez-Zor. The terrorists destroyed a BDRM-2 vehicle and a mini-truck and killed at least nine soldiers. Early on the same day, the Israeli Air Force carried out a strike on the T-4 airport in Homs province. The Syrian Air Defense reportedly intercepted several missiles, but at least four of them hit the target. The T-4 airport is the base for Iranian-backed operations against ISIS in the central part of Syria and also hosts Iranian armed aerial vehicles.